do we know how full our propane tank is? Is that something we have control over? Yes, we do. Can we monitor it in the Victron Venus OS console? That's the question which I want to answer in this video with Toby's Real Skills with Toby. Still me, my friends. I was doing a little bit of research because not only we have the Venus console, which we can use, and we can, in the meantime, have our Ruby temperature sensor, which we can put in a fridge, which we can put somewhere else in a mobile home, in an RV or whatever. But we also have the opportunity to have other Bluetooth connections. And I want to introduce you today to Mopica Pro. This one is specifically for propane tanks or something which is LNG, LPG, bottles related. Um, I hope I said that correct with bottles, sorry. Tanks, you know, those heavy things. Those ones here. By the way, mine is empty, but we'll focus on this little friend. We wanna see in our console, so let's jump right into it, what I'm doing now. The first thing I have to do, because this one comes with its own app, Mopega app or something. Um, link in the description below, but you will find it also easily in the internet. In the internet. It's not very expensive, I think. I would say around 50 bucks, I think. Uh, link in the description below, of course. And um, I bought it for one, so it's just one. I bought it for one propane tank, as you can see. And it's fairly simple. You can either connect it just to your standalone app from Opega, or if you have the Raspberry Pi set up, or maybe you have the, the GX set up somewhere in your RV, at your home, or whatever. This will also work. You need to have Bluetooth on, and I'll show you the two important steps what you need to do. I will not go into the details how to configure everything, because that's something, um, it really depends on your propane, LNG, LPG, whatever um, bottle you have. You will find, uh, most likely, maybe written on the bottle itself, or you will find it wherever you bought it. So, in this case, and for this video, what we'll do first, there's a little sync button, we'll hold it for five, 10 seconds. It needs to be close to your Raspberry Pi or your um, GX. And when you have done that, um, welcome back to my console. Yes, I finally connected it back to a couple things. So we'll go into the settings. We'll go further down. Very important. Uh, we'll do two things actually. First thing is we'll check on Bluetooth if it's enabled because that's what we need. So yes, it is. It's on a default. Uh, password, which for this purpose we don't need it, but then we'll go down to IO input and output, and then we have the Bluetooth sensors. And as you remember, we did the same with the Ruby temperature sensor, pretty much the same. Then we go in here, and since I've enabled it already, we have to continuously scanning. I can see Mopega LPG. Well, the LPG is most likely because I did already some playing around earlier, but I'll activate it here. And then we'll go back with menu. And here we have it. 30 degrees, it's a little high. I'm not sure if that's accurate at the moment. It doesn't matter. But um, here you can go in it. And there you can also do some setups, what I mentioned. Um, I think that's, that's the most important. That's um, what you need to adjust for your propane LPG, LNG, uh, bottle, whatever you have. So the uh, sensor value when it's full, what type of fluid it is. You can also whoop, go to device and you can change the name if you want to. And there we are, Toby's propane tank. And of course you need to install it on your propane tank and there is a lot of description out there. There's even uh, this instruction which, which comes with it. For this one, it goes on the bottom of the bottle. Just goes down here. It has some magnets. And since it comes with a little sticker on the other side, I'll remove this one, put it on. There's a specific way to put it on. That's very important. So you have to follow that and have to make sure that it really is connected correctly. I'm just, you know, want to illustrate it, how it works. That's basically what it is. And whoop, where we have it, there we have a Toby's propane tank. As you can see, it's changing from zero to 25 to 10. Uh, as much as I know that it is pretty much empty. Maybe there's a little left, I'm not sure. Um, do we have anything on the, on the other page? That's a good question, really. Oh, we do! Oh my goodness, look at this. This is amazing. Toby's propane tank. Oh, nothing, nothing to click, okay. Nothing to click on. But it's cool, it's visible here, right next to our Pi processor temperature. 
awesome. It's getting more and more to a full picture. I think it's an amazing addition, uh, especially for those propane tanks, um, even if you don't want to use it with this uh, Venus S or with a VM console. I guess, I guess there's no function to set an alarm, it looks like. Maybe you guys know it. Maybe we can set an alarm when it's getting lower than whatever percentage. Maybe there's some module out there. Maybe that's something which is worth it falling up. But for this purpose of the video, we can see it even here on the first page, which is, which is amazing. So we see with one view, oh, how much power is coming in, stuff like that. And we see, oh, wait a second, my propane tank, it's empty. Oh, no. So that's pretty nice. And this Mopay car, Mopay car, Mopaka? Mopaka. Mopay car. Um, also exist for water tanks as much as I understood and uh, what's nice about it is magnetic you just pop it on and then we'll see I think that's something I want to try with my um, camping water shower and see if that's somehow possible at all quite interesting quite interesting stay tuned as always I would love to see you subscribing liking the video if you like the video and uh, if you have any comments questions or comments uh, please let me know in the comment section below until the next video tschüss